So this application will allow the vendors to register themselves from the website and the request will go to the user and then the user can create that vendor or they can also reject the vendor for some reasons and you can also write the reasons so let's see how it works we'll first go to settings we'll go to manage users let's say i'm going to this particular user and i will make sure that my purchase settings are enabled the user access rights have been given now once that is done we'll go back and go to website so let's assume the vendor is registering itself sorry himself so the vendor will be able to see a new menu over here called vendor request and they can open the vendor registration request from here now they can register themselves as an individual or as a company so let's see a uh, company uh, you can add the profile photo here as well uh, you can uh, add the name, the email, the phone, uh, mobile and all the details. Under the company, you will be able to add the contact details of two people. If we go to individual, this is all the information that the person would require to fill. So let's uh, add the company details. So here I have added all the details of the company and I've added the details of the two individual contact person as well now let's click on the button when the registration request as soon as uh, we click on that a registration request will be uh, successfully created so let's go back and we will go to purchase now and we will go to orders and vendor registration request so here you can see we have a new vendor registration request for mna co so uh, i already had another registration request for mohit uh, which was an individual so let's approve this particular request. So here we have all the details. You can see all the details that we added are visible over here. And here we have the contact details as well. So either we can create this as a vendor or we can reject this. So let's create this as a vendor and it will be created as a vendor. You can see, you can see the vendor from here, the smart button. If I go to vendors, I'll be able to see this company as a vendor. Now, whenever a vendor is accepted, a new email will be sent to that particular vendor, to their email address, and it will have something like this. Uh, this will be the details that will be sent to the vendor that uh, your vendor details have been accepted and you have been added to the vendor master. Now, let's go to purchase again and we will go to vendor registration requests again. And here, I will reject this particular request and see how it goes so i will reject the reason um let's say not required as a vendor maybe like that and i will confirm this now you can see the status here has changed as rejected and this uh, particular company has been approved now if i go to orders and vendors again you'll be able to see this company as a vendor because we just added them as a vendor you can see this now, even if uh, we reject some particular registration request, the vendor will be able to receive an email saying that your request has been rejected. So if any vendor request has been rejected, this is the particular email that will be sent to the vendor saying that your vendor registration request is rejected and the reason is not required as a vendor. So this is how the application works. Uh, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave your questions in the comment section below and we will get back to you with an answer. Also, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Until then, thank you.